Hello guys, Tzvi here with another review of a neat quadcopter that you can't really find much information about. I'm talking about this guy here. And this is uh, basically a company called Liason and they have released a quadcopter named LS126. This is the quadcopter you're seeing now. It's a very aggressive quadcopter in a good way. Um, usually I, I tried it out with the uh, high winds and I really got good results with this guy flying on the highest speed mode which you can change on the remote control of the LS126 using the shoulder, the right shoulder button. Um, three modes of flight. The highest mode is really good. It can handle all types of winds. We tried it. We always had control. Um, you do use, like in other quadcopters, the left stick to move um, up and down, of course, to give throttle and to turn right and left. And also the right stick to do horizontal movement, horizontal movement, and to move uh, front and back. Um, basically, you have all the trim buttons like in many quadcopters. This helps you uh, control the quadcopter in a situation where you feel like it's always moving to one side or the other. So these are the three buttons. This is supposedly um, controlling the camera, which you don't need because this guy has a camera that automatically connects, of course, by Wi-Fi to your phone and you can control the recording from the app itself. So this is a camera drone, a small camera drone. It's really funny, it's really aggressive. It looks like the big Phantom expensive quadcopter. Doesn't have much of the systems that of course the expensive quadcopters have, but it, it basically is the highlight of any event I was in because it looks like the big guys and it's really small. And because it's white and the plastic is actually a bit transparent, you can see the you can see, really see it light up in the night. So this is a good night flyer, and it's an it's called LS126 from a company named Liason. I actually had good time flying it. I like this quadcopter. Can't fly it indoors. No way. It's way too aggressive. You're gonna bang into something of almost 100% of the time. But all in all. It's a good flyer, not for beginners, but for someone who wants some speed and possibly flying a small drone with it. The camera is not, it's not a real, it's an FPV camera, which means you're gonna get first person view, but it's not a wide angle, high quality camera. So eventually it's not really the best thing you can do for a first person. I would get it as a toy quadcopter for having fun with the guys for night flying. It's cheap and it flies really well. So this was a review of the Liason 126, LS 126. Please subscribe and click on the thumbs up button so we can provide you with more uh, videos like this. We have about 20 quadcopters um, just waiting for us to review them. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.